or in the cottage or whatever over okay. there. Okay, so as you take off, uh, I will give we'll you take the, an attack. I will ta sure. I will give you the attack of opportunity from the rust monster here, uh, and it does try to nip out you and and bite you. Uh, that is a twenty five versus uh, twenty five versus AC. That's a hit. Still. So uh, as you get hit, you take ten damage from the bite, and you will also okay. take five ongoing acid damage until you save and uh, on a natural 16 plus which it was uh, you are now considered to be wearing no armor the armor is damaged beyond repair uh, adjust defenses accordingly if the targets armor is magical the target must make a hard save at 16 plus your armor is not magical nope. uh, and on a success the armor isn't affected so that's only if the if the armor is magical. So, as you sprout your giant seagull wings, Captain Tom, you start to take off, and as you take off, just before you get out of the reach of the bite from this rust monster, it does latch onto the back of your leg and just sends a, a, a chill and a sting throughout your entire body. As your armor basically renders useless and just basically dissolves off of you to where you're basically in your skivvies now. <laughs> well, I've still got my pirate coat, but I don't have my, my leather armor on top of it. Or underneath it, I guess. No, your, your armor is... I don't know how much of that armor that pirate coat provides. Yeah. Your the pirate armor coat is done. provides no armor. No, it doesn't. It's just, you know. it's, just, it's just for style. <laughs> it is. It's like... oh, and, well, I mean, that was just my move. The, the albatross wings is a quick action, so I'm actually going to fire my bow once I get to the top of this thing. Yep. So you are, you are, on, the, you are on it, Captain Tom. I, I'm going to fire back at the one that, that hit me. Okay. You, most certainly, you sure can. No, oh, that was terrible. <laughs> Wow, that was a that was a that was a bad hit. You just shot Wilbur. That was a that was a pretty bad uh, attack. In fact, I'm gonna give you two because you you even you even spawned your your seagull wings and, and still fumbled. <laughs> Captain, that's it for your turn. Vance, Vance Longstroke, right, what I is going on? Uh, they, they disengage. Can I disengage and get away from this thing, or or do? Uh, sure. I'll let you go? kind of. I'll yeah. I'll let you disengage from it, uh, and you can go several ways. You can s give your way across the. You know the this is the overhang of the roof basically, uh, okay. and also you can go this way. So you'll have to do a DC DC oh. eleven. Wilbur, right. Wilbur needs to attack this guy too. I totally okay. almost forgot about it. No, uh, go ahead. Next next time we'll just keep going, but you may go ahead and proceed this time, Captain Tom. Wilbur, nice. Wilbur claws him and rakes him for twenty seven. Uh and you do eight damage. We'll we'll talk about the uh, the plus five damage. Uh but yes, you, you do rake him for, for eight eight damage, taking the Taking the uh, you know rust monster, giving him a good gash on its on its belly. Now, I for iconic status. Now both Vance and Captain Tom, you're both affiliated with the Archmage. All right, you know that the Archmage is infatuated with the study of rust monster antenna. Oh seriously? <laughs> yes, you know you know that. The Archmage is infatuated with the study of these antenna and what these antenna can do. He's trying to find out how the hell he can reproduce this type of, right. you know, uh, antenna through like weaponry or something. <laughs> I guess. So yes, you, you do know like that. a rust a rust ray or something. <laughs> <laughs> so Vance, your disengage yeah, roll. I'm gonna try and get away from. Him. Sure. Uh, I thought I had a macro for it, but apparently, well, or do I? Let me derp for just one second. Sure, derp away, bud. That's plus one for the boon on that. 
Yes, you can add plus one for the boon. It's already yeah. Yep. There you go. Well, I don't have a macro for it, but yeah. I'll, I'll make one. I forgot that that macro apparently. No problem. So you are successful on disengaging. You may move up to your movement without taking an attack of opportunity. Out of my way, Mordecai. Just, let me slide through here. <laughs> as as he as he scoots by you. All right, yeah, I'm gonna stay right here, okay. and I'm going to uh, start singing a little a little ditty, I suppose. Let me see. All right. Uh, do Vance. that thing where you shoot the lightning bolts out of your butt. Vance is here. Never fear all that jazz, friends. Here you go. Alright, then I'm gonna do a battle chant at this one that, that tore the captain's uh, good leg up pretty good, pretty badly. Yeah. Alright, you damn thing. You're gonna make the captain a double cripple. How the hell is the man <laughs> gonna get around on just one, on two peg legs? You answer me that. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh wow. That's that's an eleven, but it's versus MD. I don't an eleven versus M D is is a close miss. It's okay, a pretty yeah. close miss. Alright, I'm done. Alright. So we're up to the rust monster that is behind Agnes. Agnes, this thing is lashing out at you with its uh you hear this antenna. You can tell that the antenna is is just filled with thousands upon thousands of little you know these little cilia that are making whistling sounds, and sounds like they're rubbing against each other, making this high-pitched sound. This, you know, this squeal, and it reaches out towards you. It tries to, tries to touch your armor, Agnes. And that is a twenty-one versus physical defense. Oh, that's a hit. Okay, so you're going to take one damage, and. Uh, the target is now considered to be wearing no armor. The armor is damaged beyond repair and adjust defenses accordingly. Your armor is not magical. So, the armor slides right off of the fighter as well. So now we have three of our party members that are in their skivvies with no armor. And that is it for the rust monster. Agnes, it is now your turn. All right, give me a second, because I have to find out what stuff uh, works with the heavy armor that I have here. Okay. Thank God, I'm just wearing leather armor. Oh, Captain got stripped of his leather armor, too, Mordecai. More, uh, leather armor isn't safe either, man. How does it eat leather? It's got an it's acid, a separate, acid yeah, it's an acid something. bite or whatever. Okay. It has a caustic bite and a rusting mm. antenna. He's got to roll a 16 plus to make that work, though. Agnes, your attack on the rust monster is a hit. You do 14 damage, which is minimum. Well, not minimum, but you do hit it for 14 damage. Now, you feel your sword sort of... Uh, you can see your sword take a... Uh, start to turn it like an oxidiza oxidation type of color. I need you to give me a saving throw on your weapon, please. DC 11. It's not magical, so the DC wouldn't be 6. So it's just a normal... Um, normal attack. Well, normal save, sorry. Sure, your, your sword is standing tall, Agnes. Anything else for you this round? Nothing else for you? I just said give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. I didn't hear you. <laughs> so, um, crit range is now 19. Okay, sounds good. Alright. So, Mordecai, this rust monster has turn towards you and will attack will encroach in on you Wilbur does get an attack of opportunity so Wilbur you can slice away that's actually at a plus he yeah, has an 18 because I didn't add in Vance's uh, song okay sounds good 18 is a hit 7 damage
It does reach out and try to bite you. It tries to, to bite you in the chest area, Mordecai. That is a 21 versus armor class. Yeah, that's a hit. All right. So you're going to take 10 damage. You're going to take 5 ongoing acid damage until you save at the end of your turn. And your armor is damaged beyond repair, and you need to adjust your defenses accordingly as your armor is also ruined. Hmm, I better pull up the defense. I just calculated mine by the, the basic thing. Is there a bonus from wearing armor? Uh, it should be... It'll, it'll be... I think your base thing is like mine, and then it'll say your base is as if you were wearing light armor. Yeah, that's what that's what it, I remember it saying. So right, I I'll check it. I'm, I'm looking now. Don't worry. Yeah, about okay. It. Yeah. Armor class... Uh... So you still have the shield. I see, I see, I see. So this is uh, like for killing it. It says 16 plus, plus middle mod of con dex wisdom for armor class. So what would that be? It would be, uh, seeing that he doesn't have any armor, it would be, what, uh, what would there be the... There should be a chart that under armor that, that shows what none base AC is, what light base AC is, what heavy is. So uh, mine is mine is twelve for wearing light armor, but ten for wearing no armor. So it'd be yeah. ten plus whatever. So I just think take every, two away. Just take I two think away. everybody's is ten base. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Alright. Next that rust monster. A, a pity, Looking at this little uh, sheet that Dave made, there is armor class heavy armor, armor class shield with heavy armor. That's it. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, it's in the book where I was looking at. Yeah. Let me get back we'll get to it. Uh, we'll get it the classes. Yeah. I, I think Stand you probably pull something. it off your sheet there. You're right, that's all it does say on that one. I'll have to find the page. Yeah, no armor at all, base of 10. So okay. that's, it. that's it for basically the fighter. I'm looking, it looks like it's uh, that way for every class, base of 10. Okay. So Killian will have a 12 because of his shield, basically. Well, he, get, right. he doesn't get a bonus from stats at all? Yeah, he should. It's middle between of con, con his Dex strength and, and con, yeah. His strength and con should be. Uh, well, I think just, Killian's got a zero for con, it, actually. It doesn't give a. It doesn't say it gives a bonus for no armor. Oh, really? It just says base of ten. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but so under the good. under the other thing where it tells you how to calculate your AC, it, it gives you that. Yeah, it should be the middle yeah, mod for, is, for, is for heavy armor. Con. Yeah, there's there's some gray area there. I mean, I it, see, it doesn't. I see now. It, you know, see what I mean? It doesn't say you're going to get the bonus for your heavy armor because you're proficient in it. Granted, the fighter would be proficient in probably any armor anyway. So I, I would probably have to say that, they, that what they should have done is wearing new armor would be ten plus the middle of strength. Yeah, armor. I think you still get get so, that. Yeah, well, I'm well. sorry. Uh, Condex Wiz, so yeah. that's what it should have said, but it doesn't. But uh, I'll make the call on that, All and right. that's what it's going to do anyway. So it just assumes he's wearing heavy armor. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And thing got a hold of you there, Mosaic. Okay? Mordecai, up to a one on the escalation die now. I'm going to put an arrow right in this thing's face. So I will go ahead and... Uh, you're going to put an arrow? Okay, well I'm going to take an attack of opportunity because that's really the only way that you can take an attack of opportunity is shooting something point blank. Uh, that and running away, or casting a spell point blank. So... Uh, 
I'll let you take that back if you want to this one time because you haven't done that yet. So if you want to attack it, I don't get what you. I don't get what you're. Uh, uh, firing a melee weapon, I mean, firing a ranged weapon. Yes. In melee range provokes right. an attack of opportunity. Yeah, it provokes an attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. I wasn't you're sitting there aiming those. your weapon and all that shit. You're wide. I'm open. probably gonna get an attack of opportunity anyway, but I am going to try to evade this thing to a distance. Did you say that this roof over here, Dave, is like set flat on the ground? Didn't Vance like run up the side of that thing just a minute ago? Uh, no, Van Vance overhanging, is right behind. It's overhanging. It's overhanging, yes. I told him he could run under it because it is overhanging. But it's a normal. Okay. The, it, it looks like an old smithy. You can see that there's a, see on this end, there's a, a huge, uh, what appears to be like a, chimney. Uh, a, you know, like a chimney where the smoke would burr out. Plus, there, okay. there are several signs uh, with forges on it. So, then I'm going to make my retreat. Okay, way. so you're going to not attack and then disengage? Yes, I'm retreating this way okay. like that. Well, it's a tactical retreat. Tactical retreat. Yep. All right, your character sheet isn't uh, filled in, so uh, it let should me go be. to your. It uh, is for me. Your old character sheet is yes. Well, the new one is too. Is it? I've been using it all night. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, okay. you know what? I didn't fill in the attacks and stuff. Yeah, I do see that. It's all right. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'll look at your old sheet for the. For the skills, did you say you wanted to use a? You wanted to. So you're basically just going to disengage, right? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, I'm going to disengage. All right, go ahead and do a D20, 11, DC 11. Do I get to use? Yeah, add your you do. Yeah. You can yeah. add. Well, the boon's going to be in there automatically, so you don't have to add it. The boon's automatically added into all the rolls. Uh, except for the ones that, uh, except for that type of role, but, uh, wow, that is, uh, not good. <laughs> so, you, uh, are not disengaging, you do not take the attack of opportunity, but you are, uh, still, however, uh, right here in front of him. So you can still attack if you'd like. Yeah, screw it. I've got the bow out, so point blank with the bow in the face. He's okay. going to get the attack of opportunity either way. All right, uh, it is going to reach out uh, towards one of your daggers, uh, and that oh, is okay. a crit. Okay. So the antenna. Whoa, hello. So the antenna takes basically basically just destroys one of your daggers basically right. one of the daggers that is not part of your bandolier you know what I'm saying right. yeah, one of the, the one of the other daggers My hot outs yeah G correct yes the antenna kind of slithers its way in there and then the handle just kind of falls onto the ground okay so I'm gonna go ahead and take a shot right in this thing's face Alright, 11 versus AC is a miss. Man, you guys are rolling bad tonight, huh? Three more damage. Three more damage. Uh, it is in a staggered condition now. And, and you notice take, that as your arrow kind of glances movement. off of it. No, you no, lost your movement. You lost yeah. your movement okay. with, the, with the failed... The critical fumble, yep. yeah. Yep. I think that unless you got some kind of quick... Uh, like a quick action, maybe you could put a. Nope. You can activate a rune or something if you'd like. Uh, that's that's up to you guys. The quick actions are runes. So, but other than that, we'll be moving on to Captain Tom. Captain Tom. Captain uh, Tom. You're up, Captain. All right. Foul rust kraken, prepare to taste the arrows of Saltbeard. And uh, I'm gonna shoot another arrow at the one that's that staggered. Okay. Uh, well, there, there's the roof in the way. It's really not going to be able to. 
Can I take uh, a step right there and do it? Uh, you can go one more. You can kind of stand on the edge of the roof, and then you'd have a clear line of shot, clear, sh you know, clear line of sight. Yes. Uh, I'm not gonna do that. Change my mind. I'm gonna shoot this one behind uh, kill. Well, I mean, you you would have a clear line of sight shot if you if you yeah. wanted yeah. to take the shot. I but. I changed my mind though. I, I'm gonna shoot this one behind Killian. Okay, so this one uh, directly below you or here? No, no, the one to the right. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yep. Attack away, Captain. You may fire when ready. From one admiral to another. Twenty-two is a hit. Thirteen damage. This is also in a staggered condition. And uh, Wilbur is going to move up here and attack this staggered one. Okay. Clobber him, Wilbur. Finish him, Wilbur. Well, he actually does. T he takes him out. Nice. Oh, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Sorry. Whoa. whoa. I was uh, looking at the wrong thing. It is in bad shape. Mm. Wilbur did. That damn uh, Albaz used to scat. He got a great, uh, great hit on this, uh, on this rust monster. Anything else for anyone, for you? And uh, well, actually, Wilbur's done too. So Vance, oh, I need now. to make a uh, a recharge. You need, roll yes, yeah. for your five for my, damage. For, huh? You need to oh, take no, your five that. damage too. Your I acid need to do damage. That. And I also the thing of wings of the albatross yeah. is every turn after side. I use it, I get to try to recharge it again. And if I'm successful, I can I can fly again, basically. Okay, so uh, go ahead and did you take your five acid damage? No, for the I'm, of the I'm doing that right okay. now. Okay, now go ahead and give me your your saving throw for the for the. Okay, you are no longer affected by the acid damage. Now give me your saving throw for or well, the recharge, sixteen plus for your wings. So that so I, well. The way it works is I just get to do it every... They don't go away. It's just every round I get to see if I get to fly again, nice. basically. I like that. Very nice. So I don't take any more acid damage. I no, you don't. five I took this That's turn. it. Just... Yep, that's it. Okay. Agnes, uh, you're being attacked. Seeing that, what about uh, old Vance? Uh, Vance? Right, yeah, right by yeah, old I, Vance, Dave. I sure did. I, I figured... Uh, you didn't want any part of this disastrous yeah, mess that you're in. I'll, I'll try and keep my song going. Yeah, I really don't want any. Yeah, see if you uh, make your saving throw on that. Right, let's see. Uh, no. Pling, pling, pling. All right, I'll give that to Mordecai. Mordecai, you have a plus two to your next attack roll there. Oh wow, Same. boy. You guys are you guys are dropping fumbles all over tonight. I mean, what's going on? And I'm going to try and disengage. All right. You're able to disengage. Absolutely. <laughs> Thirty-five feet. I love it. Vance is gone. Never mind. Only the captain's going to get it, anyways. I mean, only Mordecai's going to get it because I failed to sustain. And uh, that's it. I'm not going to do any standard. I can take a double move as a standard of the Canada. Sure. Absolutely. Good luck, fellows. I'm going to sit over here in the darkness. All right. It's, it's nice and safe over here. And I'm done. All right. Agnes, you sure you're being There's nothing attacked. lurking in the darkness. I'm not positive at all, Agnes. Agnes, uh, you are hit with... The antenna on your shield. Your shield is now rendered useless. As it senses the the metal of your shield. You take one more damage. And your shield is now kaput. So now your shield and your armor are both gone. Agnes, you're up. And basically pretty much useless. You still have your sword in your hand. You're, you're not totally I said pretty useless. much. The sword survived. <laughs> yeah, pretty it did. much. Doesn't mean everything. It means mostly <laughs> everything. Come on with that crit. Come on, 19. Ooh, crit. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. That's what we call that. It's about time you had a you had a crit there. Was that a 20 or was that a 19? That was 19. a 19 crit. Yeah, nice. Gotta love it. All right, so your crit range resets. Thirty-six damage. <sighs> Unbelievable. 
new Agnes. She's a beast. She's a beast. Yeah. Uh, no, it also goes down to eighteen. And also, uh, as you slice <laughs> through this beast, are now gone. you slice through the beast, Agnes. You slice through the belly of the beast. It splits in two pieces, and and a and a goo kind of runs out on the ground, with a with a with a whole slew of gems mixed in into this goo. Now, I need you to make a saving throw for your longsword, for your trusty handy dandy longsword of a DC eleven. Very nice damage, Agnes. I see the gems. I see the gems. Your your sword is uh. Well, I need you to do a a, a roll <laughs> this time. <laughs> that was a crit. Dave. That was a crit. <laughs> At least she's trying to pull one over on me. You almost went for What is it? I, rolled I a almost, 1d20. Uh, you rolled a 20. You just rolled 20. Yeah. Uh, you rolled, rolling, you rolling, you rolling, rolled rolling. 20. <laughs> Excuse me, sometimes I miss a button. Hey. It's fine, it's fine. You, you're you're always worked, automatic. Everybody would have been happy if it had worked. <laughs> Watch her fumble. Sure. Your sword is standing strong, although it is a little bit oxidized. The, the blade seems to be sharp still, and with withstanding the the rust like, you know, destruction of your armor and your shield. All right, good job. So Agnes. you said this this guy here died, right? Uh, he he's dead. Yeah, I'm just putting okay. an X on him now. All right, so Mordecai, this staggered creature on you, turns and faces to Wilbur. And attacks. Wilbur has no armor or metal belongings. He just bit <laughs> Wilbur. Oh, wow. Wilbur takes 20 damage from the crit, and Wilbur is also taking 5 damage per round. You got it. Leopold, have a good night, buddy. I'll uh, host you. No, oh, wow, that was a that was a pretty vicious shot. Next on Killian, Killian's missing his his shield as well, isn't he? I, I, yeah, he is. Is he? Yeah, huh? I believe so. Though. Yeah. yeah. What's a what other? What else can I destroy? See, if Killian's? I still had mine, he would have got a plus two to AC. Go for his holy symbol. I think I might. I'm gonna have to go for something. <laughs> See how that goes. Belt buckle or something. Oh, he has a he has a heavy crossbow that's got metal on it too. So the antenna lashes out towards his his light crossbow as the antenna tries to reach around and and touch the you know all of the metal brackets sticking up above his shoulder. Oh my goodness, you guys are uh, naked. Oh my gosh, that is unbelievable. Wow, that is that is unbelievable. Killian's crossbow is now destroyed and rendered useless. The wood is still there. But unfortunately for him, uh, the metal is now dissolved off of a crossbow. So now it's a blunt weapon. It is a blunt it is a blunt weapon. Mordecai. Right. Round two. Well we're round three. Escalation die is now at two. If somebody wants to change okay. the escalation die, Mordecai, you're up. Do you uh, do you want me to roll my saving throw first, day or do you? I do. I want you to take first? your. I want you to take your your five my damage, damage first. Five damage. Yep. Okay. Yep. Let me do that real quick. There you go. A little green five on this. What I should have done with the captain too, but. Uh, well, you can do you. You're gonna do your saving throughout the end of the round. So go ahead and do your uh, do whatever okay. you're gonna do now. All right, you got a plus two for just this attack now. All right, I'm gonna drop that crossbow behind me. Just drop it on the ground behind me, my okay. light crossbow. I'm gonna take the dagger that's in my arm sheath thing and the I'm second going to, one, right? Yeah, the second just okay. crude dagger, and gotcha. I'm going to attack this thing and just try to stab it right through its thorax. Just you know, sounds good. Yeah, I'd like for you to crit. I, I would really like for you to crit. <laughs> you need like one damage to kill this thing. It's just barely hanging on. Yeah, he's he's. Ooh, that's, that's a, a hit. hit wow, I, I, I'm nice. pretty sure also, that's. 
I also get that sneak attack damage to that you because do. So you engage with Wilbur. Well, of course, so you do the 23 damage with your sneak attack, mm -hmm. 23. Yeah, the, it's you, a beast. You, you, you take it out, boom, it is dead. 